If you've never stayed at a bed and breakfast, you are seriously missing out. Today we're taking you to five B&Bs all across Wisconsin. That are so above and beyond when it comes to beauty, comfort, and service, you'll be choosing B&Bs again and again. Hello and welcome to Discover Wisconsin. This is an anthem For those who look for more And I would say they've seen it all Windows and blankets Take a ride The Grandlands Great Tonight From Victorian to farm, contemporary to historic, B&Bs are as unique as the innkeepers who serve their guests oh so well. If you've never ventured out beyond the typical hotel, you're in for a surprise. Our first stop, West Bend, where hidden serenity awaits. This place wows you from the moment your tires hit the driveway. Tucked way, way, way back in the woods, the big reveal. A welcoming house that my wife Teresa and I adore. Oh my gosh, honey, this is awesome. Oh, look gorgeous, my goodness. I, they have a swing. I've always wanted a swing. Gotta porch, go there. Gotta go on the porch swing later. Check looks cool. <laughs> wow. Well, wow. that's fancy. <laughs> like huh? <the> ring. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Hi, Sally. Hi, Sally. Nice to see you. I'm Welcome Jake. To Hidden Serenity, Jake. So nice to get a warm greeting from the innkeeper. And guys, let me tell you, if your wife wants to drag you to a and b let her do it. They're not all frilly and feminine. The architecture here is contemporary and woodsy. Nice tile, interesting hardware and fixtures, and lots of space. So many B&Bs have televisions, but here is disguised as a mirror above the fireplace in our room. And hey, just outside our room, a pool table. Then as part of a couple's package, you can get a picnic basket from the innkeeper and great suggestions for hiking routes. Oh. Hang on, watch your, watch your staff. The area around Hidden Serenity is gorgeous and just so peaceful. When you're good and hungry, hey, take a seat on a bench and see just how much thought someone else put into making your hike sweet. Cheers. She's literally like a concierge. I mean, the way she puts stuff together, we didn't have time for this. No. She just set it all up, scheduled it. I mean, that's probably my favorite part. Day two starts out on the deck with a gourmet <laughs> breakfast. You, you get up at 6 a.m. to start doing this? Oh yeah, maybe goodness. quarter after. <laughs> I did. They taste healthier. Maybe it's just me. They taste healthier. And here's something we never heard of before, baby moon packages. Yeah, you've heard of honeymoon packages. Well, baby moon packages are for people expecting a new baby. Here, that package may include a massage. Hey, how perfect is that? It's just so nice to be able to get away and take a break from normal, busy life sometimes. And especially after a baby comes, it's always just a different season of life, just to adjust to having a new baby. And so it's really nice just to get away and and take a little breather before. You can enjoy the outdoors and let the innkeepers help you as much or as little as you like. And when the guests arrive, you know, out of the big city, they get out of the car and they come up, you know, they're frazzled. They come in and we tell wow. them all about the inn and, and show them their room. And all of a sudden their countenance starts to change little by little. And yeah, sure. when they leave the next morning, they're like two totally different people. And honestly, that's why we're in it. We just love to share what we own and what we have. When it's over, you've made some great memories. Well, honey, everything about this was perfect. I mean, I relaxing, just, just outstanding. You know what I'm gonna miss? The swing. The swing was I miss great. I the swing, I love the swing. <sighs> Onward to our next little getaway. From country to city. Oh, this is so awesome, honey. I think we're almost there. This is why, and it's so cool because we're right in the middle of everything. I mean, there's shops, great, great city. And the great thing is once we park, we don't have to drive anywhere. That'll be nice. We yeah. can walk. Up next is Brayton B&B, 
right in the heart of downtown Oshkosh, where there's so much to do. How can I describe Brayton? Well, comfortable, classy, beautifully appointed. The decor is traditional and contemporary, but the house is historic. When we come back, more at Brayton B&B in Oshkosh, and later, Mariah checks out a farm B&B right on the shores of Lake Michigan. But first, do you want to find a great B&B for your next vacation, getaway, or business trip? Go to discoverwisconsin.com and click on the Wisconsin Bed and Breakfast Association destination page. There you'll find B&Bs with the highest standards to make your next day a fantastic experience. The WBBA says, seek the unique, and I agree.